Anyway, it's time now for my first guest. Now, he's about to kick off the next leg of his massive stand-up tour, and next Friday, he's bringing Zip Up Cardies back to BBC One as Uncle Bryn in Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> He's just released his new stand-up DVD. Will you please welcome the man himself, Rob Brydon? Let's hear you. Come on. Rob, you've got a beautiful head of hair. You're very kind, Paul. Has so it? Have you. Look at that. So have you. Yours is lovely. It goes all the way down your back. I know. I can, <laughs> I can unpen this and sit on it, you know, if I want to. What did Dame Edna say? She said, I'll never forget the time when I first grew hair I could sit on. <laughs> <laughs> so I said... think she meant it had gone all the way oh, down that your back. <laughs> You're off on the road. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I've nearly finished. I mean, I've, it's been 87 dates. 87 dates? It's a lot, of one night it? stands? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a killer. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, it is, it yeah. is hard. It's good when it's, when it's going well and, and, and you're up for it, but on the nights when you've got a bit of a cold or... You're then tired. it's hard. Yeah. But, the, you know, the audience is what makes the show, yeah. you know, and if you've got a good, lively audience, it's fantastic, you know. What's one of those? <laughs> <laughs> It's like this, but just a few notches down. <laughs> Nobody could be this energy. Listen, if you say ankles flashing in the front, it's because they're all tagged. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they come. They've got to be home for six o'clock. <laughs> Where are... <laughs> I don't, I don't know why you, why you put up with this. <laughs> you, you, you should just go. You really no, should. don't, don't, little stampede. Don't raid the canteen. Like they did last time. Where are you next on your tour? On your I'm agenda? in Liverpool on oh, Wednesday. Oh, you'll have a ball. It's up my there. third night there. Oh, is it? I've done. I did two at the Philharmonic, and yeah. now I'm doing the Empire. Oh, the Empire's lovely. Yeah, yeah. good, good yeah. audiences. D can be tough though. Yeah. I think the Liverpool audience more than any other. You'll be on stage and you'll you'll do a joke, and you always feel at any moment they might go. What do you mean by that? Yeah. You know, just like they could... But, but when they like you... Yeah, you're all right. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. keep your fingers crossed for You know, Lily Savage was born outside the Empire. Really? Well, not... It was a pub on the corner called The Legs of Man that they've got rid of now. What was it called? The Legs of Man. The Legs Seriously. of Man. Well, when it closed, I had a petition going, keep the Legs of Man open, and then I realised what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, was, she was born on a policeman's overcoat. <laughs> <laughs> In the show, I believe you ask the audience questions. Yeah, well, isn't that, that scary? That's like, well, I, I, people always say that's the best part of the show is is the spontaneous stuff. It harks back to when I used to be Keith Barrett, you know, yeah. and oh, I would yeah. ask the audience questions about their relationships, and I still do it now. Yeah. And you hear the most incredible things, you know, like how did you meet? Do you know what was? What did he say to chat you up? And, and, and so often people can't remember. The number of people who can't remember what it was their partner said to them when they met this, this lovely romantic relationship that started and they haven't got a clue. But isn't that fair? Because it's, I get like that, you know, if you're in, in a pot, if watching an act and they ask you a question, mm. go, go, don't some, know. some people are nervous, yeah. some people thrive on it. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, and you sort of, in a way, you don't want them. What you want is kind of nice people, little... They can be a little bit embarrassed, yeah. but they give you good, honest answers, yeah. not trying to be funny. Exactly. You know, you want, you want to just give an honest answer and, and then it'll, you know, it, it'll fly. I, I always try and find the oldest person in the audience, you know, <laughs> and I say, how old are you? And quite often you get, I'm as... I'm as young as I feel, yeah. and as anything. Oh, no, I'm as old as me. I'm as yeah. yeah or, or as I'm me. 21, Rob. <laughs> just, just, just say, you know, how, how old you. you just you, slap you them are. with the mic. Say, give us a straight yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah. I believe yeah. your new baby features a lot in this show. Well, I became a dad again recently. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very by much. The way. Yeah. How old now is the baby? He's little Tom is uh, 19 months. <laughs> so he's at that he's at that gorgeous age, yeah. you know. And but it was a home birth. And it was an unplanned home birth. So we, we were thought we were going to labour. Like, at before home, time. I was playing golf. She called me back from the golf course. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. And I went back and she was on all fours in the front room. <laughs> going, oh, oh. And the midwife was there. And he ended up being born in, our, in the TV room. It's a Sony 42 inch plasma. <laughs> and, and I caught him. I literally caught him. Oh, how fabulous. As he came, well, it's fabulous. It's scary. Yeah. And some people choose to have it at home. I mean, we, we did it just because by the time I got back, it was too late to go <laughs> anywhere, you know. But she had no messing, did she? Getting whipped into hospital and all that, it was over and done with. It, it was pretty quick, yeah. yeah. From, from the time that I got back about 6 o'clock and he was born about 23 minutes after 11. 
but it's pretty scary. I bet it oh, is. Oh, yeah. Did it, you cut it, the cord or did the yes, midwife I do did. that? Yes, I did. Accidentally. <laughs> um, I, I shouldn't have been running with those scissors. I realise that now. <laughs>